Good morning, dear learners. Welcome to teaching learning session. Today we will discuss about questionnaire. Questionnaire is one of the important tools to collect the data, and it is one of the important tool which helps the researcher in conducting the research. How should we develop a questionnaire? We will discuss about developing a questionnaire. Uh, before we should start developing a questionnaire, it is very important to understand what is a questionnaire. What is a questionnaire? A questionnaire, as I told you, it is a tool. It is a tool for collecting the information. Information, information which describes, compare, and explain an event or situation, as well as knowledge, attitude, behavior, socio-demographic characteristics of a particular target group it is nothing but a tool what is question which it is nothing but a tool which collects the various type of data the data could be various type of data that could be related could be related to could be related to could be related to behavior social dynamic 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 behavior are while designing the research this sample is that the population should be clear and, and target population should be clear and mission is set to have been done by the estimation to have been done by keeping in mind the target population and by keeping in mind the target population question researcher should develop the data and analyze the data collect the data and analyze the data before the designing of uh, before Fresh the designing of uh, uh, approach of researcher should be uh, like, approach of uh, researcher should be researcher should like consider uh, about the researcher topic. should consider what is about the topic of the research what is the on the basis of research. the topic of research on the basis of the topic of research researcher should develop because according to the objective because according to the should be objective the question it's should be there. it's a tool to collect the data it's a tool and there should tool to collect the data which and helps us to attain our objectives which helps us to attain our objectives that what is the topic so it is very clear that what is the topic who you want to survey then it should be very who you clear want to survey about, then it should be very the clear about who you the want population. to survey whom you want to survey accordingly you can develop a question accordingly you can develop a question whether your population is whether and your educated, population is illiterate or educated uneducated or, or, or males females according to you should develop males, a question females according to you should develop a question number of things you have to consider a number of things while developing next important thing is the type of next important thing is what type of information researcher what type of information do you want what type of information from the respondent from the respondent and don't put uh, and hazard questions, questions in your question uh, hazard questions in your question it irritates the respondent it irritates then important thing is your budget what then is important thing is your budget it is what is your important because it will define how you important because it will define how will you carry out your research how will you collect the data how will you collect the data according to the budget uh, we according choose, to the budget uh, we choose the style to collect the data there's a style to collect the data the interviews uh, they conduct the interviews uh, employees the uh, employees work uh, the, uh, the data and 
next important aspect which a researcher should consider is how quickly researcher needs the information the time how much time the researcher is in his hand so before designing a questionnaire all these aspects should be considered like the topic of the research uh, whom you want to survey the type of information researcher want budget and time questionnaire design questionnaire design is a systematic process in which a researcher contemplates various question formats consider a number of factor con characterizing the survey at hand ultimately words the various questions very carefully and organize the questionnaire's layout so what is questionnaire design it's a it's a systematic process the questionnaire design includes the various question formats in which format you want to put your questions then researcher consider the number of factors on which he wants to ask the questions on which he wants to carry out the survey variables or the factors next is the words the various question uh, the words of the questions matters a lot you should choose your words very carefully next organize the questionnaires layout which question should come first and which should come at the end there should be a proper layout of the questionnaire so while designing a questionnaire it is very important that you should consider the various factors or the variables in which you on which you want to uh, ask the questions uh, then choose the words very carefully about your questions and then organize the questionnaires layout questionnaire design encompasses how to write questions and how to draft and organize a questionnaire how to write a question it is very important that researcher should choose words very carefully very wisely he should not use any unparliamentary or the biased language while designing a question question should sound neutral next is how to draft and organize a questionnaire then again it is very important aspect organization of the questionnaire after uh, writing a questions it is very important to uh, put put the questions in a proper sequence sequences matter it should cover up all the variables which you want to tap variable under study should be tabbed in a questionnaire the question should be uh, uh, the question should be put in a neutral form and then organize a question according to according to the priorities there should be a proper um, sequencing of questions the art of asking question asking a question is an art how one should ask a question you must ask the right question respondent must understand your question you should not use any semantics over there ask specific questions it should be understandable respondent should understand your question respondents must know the answer respondent must willing and able to tell you the answer i don't ask the questions uh, which the respondent will not uh, like to respond 
don't ask biased questions so you should ask the right question your respondent must understand your question use simple language while asking the question respondent must to know the answer and respondent must be willing and able to tell you the answer three simple rules for writing a questionnaire there are simple rules for writing a questionnaire the first is think through your research questions and objective before writing a question you should know about your topic your objective should be crystal clear and you should frame the questions according to your objective so that you should frame the question so that you can achieve your objectives frame the questions in a way that helps you to achieve your objective so your objective your topic should be clear to you what you want to achieve don't unnecessarily put more questions or questions which are not related to your topic or objectives prepare an analysis plan before you write a question how will you analyze prepare an analysis plan before you write a question how you how you are going to analyze your question how will it how will it help you to generalize your research you should have a proper plan of action analysis plan analysis plan can include the type of variables you choose uh, the type of um, uh, scales you choose how you are going to do analyze those scales or those variables it should be very clear before preparing a questionnaire ask yourself in relation to point 1 or point 2 and that is uh, objective should be clear to you and analysis plan should be ready with you if each question on your list is necessary am i not writing any unnecessary questions or am i not writing any irrelevant question is there any irrelevant question in my questionnaire ask yourself if each question in your list is necessary is it necessary to ask this even if the data would be interesting it has to ultimately be used in the analysis to make the cut just for the sake of collection of data i don't ask the questions ask the questions which is very important or which is required for your research your questioner should be short and crispy if you will ask say n number of question from the respondent Uh, at times respondent loses interest they don't have time to read, go through your questionnaire and they avoid to fill up your questionnaires or answer your questions so ask important and necessary questions even if data is interesting it should be used in analysis to make the cut okay types of survey questions but what should be the types of the questions questions that ask about the behaviors or facts if you want to ask about something about the facts or the behaviors the question must ask about the behavior or the facts non threatening behavior questions threatening behavior questions uh, demographics if you want to collect the data about the demographics question should be related to demographic those that ask about the psychological state or attitude if you want to uh, measure the psychological state or an attitude of someone then the question should be related to that and uh, it uh, if you want to know about the ask about the knowledge then question should be related to that what is a good question 
a good question is that one that yields a truthful and accurate answer one that asks for one answer on one dimension there should be one answer for one dimension there should be not more than one answer for one dimension if someone has answered uh, more than one or if someone has chosen more than one option for a, a single question that question should be discarded one answer on one dimension ask for one answer on one dimension one that accommodates all possible contingencies of responses it should cover up all the uh, contingencies of the responses from a to z it should cover up the continuum use specific simple language while asking a questionnaire your question should be specific to the point concise language should be simple so that respondent can understand it easily and without any ambiguity can answer your questions one that has mutually exclusive response options responses ask the questions which are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive means suppose if you want to know about the age and if you have i uh, made the group age groups then it could be from, suppose it is it from 0 to 5 then another could group should be 6 to 10 or 11 6 to 10 then 11 to 14 then 15 to say 20 it should be mutually exclusive it should not be like 0 to 5 then 5 to 10 then 10 to 15 that is not mutually exclusive your uh, option should be mutually exclusive agree disagree strongly agree strongly disagree neither agree nor disagree choose one it should be mutually exclusive one that produces variability in response ask the questions in a way that produces a variability in response one that minimizes the social desirability and one that is pre tested your question should be pre tested pre tested your questionnaire should be pre tested you should know the alpha value or the cronbex value of your questionnaire what is the cronbex value or the alpha value of a questionnaire cronbex value is uh, uh, the cronbex value of any good questionnaire should be more than 7 0.7 if it is less than 7 uh, then that questionnaire is considered uh, that questionnaire is not considered good the value if the value of your questionnaire or the value of your question comes out or the cronbex value or the alpha value of your question uh, is more than 7 or equals to or more than 7 then that considered question is considered to be good so it is very important that your question or questionnaire should be pre tested pre tested means uh, your question should be reliable and valid check the test to retest well pre tested reliability and validity of questionnaire is very important your questionnaire is valid you are asking valid questions and your um, questionnaire is reliable reliable means if you are asking the same uh, questions from the same group or different group you are getting the more or less same type of answers so your questionnaire should be pre tested so your yeah, good question should accommodate all possible contingencies so your language of a questionnaire should be specific simple mutually exclusive response option should be there it produces a, a variability in responses it minimizes the social desirability and question should be pre tested a questionnaire should be pre tested your questionnaire or question should be reliable and valid 10 steps 
to a good survey design the first is identify what you want to cover in survey that means your objective your topic and your objective should be very clear to you you should know what you want to cover in survey second is put questions that are necessary third keep it short and simple your objective should be clear according to your uh, objective put the questions and those questions only which are necessary even if the facts are interesting then even not then if it is not required for your research don't ask the questions keep your uh, questionnaire short and crispy short and simple because no one wants to invest much time in your questionnaire keep it short crispy so that you can get more answer ask one question at one time avoid using jargon don't ever ever never use jargon because semantics because uh, it can create a confusion never use jargon or semantics open ended questions or closed ended questions it should be very clear to you whether you want to ask open ended questions or the closed ended questions we will discuss about open ended or closed ended questions spend time to design your survey because it is the tool on which your research depends if you will not use a proper tool and uh, then it will impact the results of your research so spend time to design your survey make a plan analysis plan before designing a questionnaire after the response analyze the response after collecting after collection of data analyze the responses put the summary report together and conclude your plan of action so these are the 10 steps to design a good questionnaire or a survey design procedure for development what is the procedure for development of a questionnaire specify what information will be sought what type of information do you want from your respondent specify it it should be very crystal clear to you what type of uh, results what type of information you want determine the type of questionnaire and method of administration what type of questionnaire you want to develop open ended questionnaire or a closed ended questionnaire determine the type of questionnaire and how will you administrate that questionnaire uh, we discussed about the various methods of administration in our last lecture through mail you can uh, administrate your uh, questionnaire through telephone you can ask the questions through a field survey you can ask the questions interview method is another observation method is another so which you can analyze the things and determine the type of questionnaire and method of administration which methods will you like to employ determine the content of individual questions use proper words while asking while framing a question so the content of it is very important that you should pay uh, attention towards the content of the question determine the form of response response to each question in which form you want the response if you want whether you want a one response for the answer or if there could be more than one responses whether you want an elaborated answer for the questions or you want an uh, object you want to ask objective type of a question determine the form of response determine the wording of each question 
use neutral words pay attention towards the wording of question your question should not uh, should not hurt the sentiment of anyone never ever use unparliamentary language biased language so it is very important that it should be very clear to you what information uh, you want to sort from your respondent determine the type of questionnaire determine the method of administration then the content of individual question uh, determine the form of responses to each question and the wording of each question type of questions in a questionnaire there are two type of a questions in a questionnaire open ended questionnaire and closed ended questions open ended question more information open ended question is uh, that when you want more information about something but it is difficult to qualify and uh, enter and analyze that is the open ended questionnaire when you when we ask your comment about um, about uh, about the event right that type of question is open ended question it is very difficult to codify this type of a question it is difficult to enter and analyze this type of a question closed ended question is closed ended question uh, uh, less information we get the less information but easy to codify enter and analyze we can easily codify that analyze it and enter suppose you have to choose one option from two or three options do you know driving yes or no either yes or no either you know driving or you don't know driving right close ended question do you know driving if i ask do you know driving right and if it is a open ended question then one can write and number of things yes i know driving but i am not a perfect driver right i feel um i uh i i face these types of problems while driving so i'm not sure whether i know driving or not and number of things one can write then it is difficult to uh, codify enter and analyze the question but when i ask specific question that is do you know driving yes or no then this type of a questionnaire is closed ended questionnaire and closed ended questionnaire is easy to codify enter and analyze open ended questions helps to collect qualitative data in the questionnaire where where the respondent can answer in a free form with little or no restrictions you can write whatever one feels like if this type of uh, data is required by someone is conducting a qualitative type of a research and the respondent can answer in a free form with little or no restriction like what are your expectations or requirements from a product anyone can write in number of thing what one expects or what one requires from the from the product what do you see as the next action steps or what's the most important priority to you with this why these type of questions are known as open ended questions and it is very difficult to analyze codify these type of questions close ended question they are multiple choice question as i said it is multiple choice question in which respondent has to select one or many depends responses from a given list of options have you been stressed lately yes or no you just have to choose either yes or no Do you know driving? Yes or no. Do you smoke? Yes or no. Occasionally you cannot choose occasionally because there is no option. Either yes or no. Even if it is occasionally yes. Right? Close ended questions. type of multiple choice question when we ask close ended question there are various uh, scales available uh, for this multiple choice question one of the most 
important scale is Likert scale. What is Likert scale? Likert was, Likert was a social scientist and he developed a scale, right? And uh, to collect the data. And this is uh, one of the good scales, right? A Likert scale is. Uh, Likert scale is uh, to collect the multiple choice question like uh, uh, we give the options and one has to choose one single option for for a question and it is very important to remember one thing uh, scale should be odd number if your scale is odd number then that scale is known as balanced scale means at least there should be three options like agree disagree if you will ask suppose let me explain it with example the website was easy to navigate agree disagree right if it is like this if you ask agree or disagree then this scale is known as uh, not balanced scale if you want a scale to be balanced a liquid scale to be balanced it should be an odd number that it is agree Disagree, neither agree nor disagree. I don't know because I, because I never navigated this. Sometimes I, it is easy, sometimes I feel like few options are like, uh, it is difficult to navigate few options. Say, uh, a checkout process is uh, very cumbersome or login process is very difficult. It, it asks a number of questions before logging in. But after logging in, uh, it is easy to navigate uh, the website. So I don't feel like it is easy or it is difficult. Neither easy nor difficult. Uh, fine, it is okay, right? Agree or disagree, and neither agree nor disagree. It could be three scale Likert, uh, three scale, uh, three point Likert scale, five point Likert scale, seven point Likert scale, right? Um, nine point Likert scale, eleven point Likert scale, or these scales are known as balanced Likert scale. If it is two point Likert scale, four point Likert scale, then these are known as um, unbalanced Likert scale. While numbering, <coughs> right? So it is very important. If you will see, it is five point Likert scale. Strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. Neutral means zero. I uh, neither agree nor disagree. So to uh, one one of the important scale to collect the data from multiple choices for closed ended questionnaire is a Likert scale. Like the website was easy to navigate. Strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree or strongly agree. Choose one of the options. The checkout process was simple. Uh, checkout process was not that simple. I disagree with that. The products received was or were what I expected. Yes, I agree. But it was not easy to nav navigate because the checkout process was not that simple. Then another type of multiple choice question is checklist type. What is checklist type of a question? Checklist where you have option where you can choose more than one uh, option. Then that is known as checklist type. Which of the following would you like to see in the showroom? Sports utility vehicle, sedan, hatchback, convertible, all of the above. Suppose I want to see sedan and the hatchback. I can choose two. So checklist type, use checklist type of checklist type when you want, when you want uh, that a respondent should answer more, can choose more than one options. Right? Then multiple choice question. It depends on the researcher what type of questions, uh, what type of scales which he wants to apply. Next is the rank order questionnaire. Rank order, please rank the following topics on the scale of 1 to 5. 1 being your favorite. Rank it whether you like pepperoni, whether you like mushrooms, olives, sausages, what you like. Rank it from 1 to 5 in order of 1 to 5 and 1 being your favorite. And fifth is, you, fifth is the one you least 
borrowed or uh, it is like you don't want that rank the order rank order suppose you have suppose you have to choose um uh, you have to give the preferences for your courses or for your colleges and you should be rank you should one should use the rank order the first order for this uh, uh, if i get this course x course this is my first choice y course is my second choice z course is my third choice or a a um, uh, college is my first preference or a first choice b would be my second and c would be my third choice so multiple choice question is rank order you will have to rank according to rank on the scales that is 1 to 5 or 2 to 10 that depends right that depends on the researcher then rating scale then you have to rate rating scale is what a uh, waiting time if you are asking about waiting time waiting time uh, you have to rate between 1 to 7 1 means very poor and 7 means excellent it could vary right waiting time waiting time was uh, suppose i chose 4 it means neutral how important is the length of waiting time to you it is very important for me the length of the waiting time is very important for me so suppose i have chosen 7 quality of magazine in waiting time that is 3 very poor poor right it is 3 it means still scope of improvement is there better but it could be improved how important is the quality of magazine in waiting room to you it is very important 7 so one choose one should pay attention towards the quality of the magazine if you are getting uh, these types of responses right common mistakes while making a questionnaire framing a questionnaire what are the common mistakes what might be wrong with this question right what was the first drink you had today tea coffee water juice haven't had any drink or other no please state all the options need to cover all the options if you are uh, if you if either it should be a open type of a question what type what was your first drink you had today leave it and let the uh, respondent write what he had whether it's a tea whether it's a coffee juice lime water or anything else right if you are giving if you are making it a close type of a question that is tea coffee water juice then you should cover up there is a list of the drinks which one could take um, uh, right so it should cover up all the options need to cover all the options so it is very important while you are asking these types of a question make sure what type of a question it should be whether an open-ended question or a closed-ended question. If there are n number of, there could be the n number of options, it is very difficult to list the n number of options. But at times we see that they write the n number of options. But then we feel like, uh, no, 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 I had nothing in the morning. Add something else. Then either the respondent will leave that question blank will not choose any of the options or will choose a wrong option in either case it will impact your research because you are you will not get the correct response next is what might be wrong with this question? What is your age group? 0 to 8, 18 to 30, 30 to 45, 45 plus. This, that question should be mutually exclusive. If it is 0 to 18, then from 19 to 30. Then 31 to 45 and 46 plus. It should be mutually exclusive. Suppose I am 18. What should I write? I am 18 or 80 to 30. In which group I felt? 0 to 18 or 18 to 30? Or if I am 30, then 18 to 30 or 30 to 35? I am 30, just 30. Right? So it should be mutually exclusive. 
थर्टी और थर्टी वन आम थर्टी ईयर सिक्स मंथ ओल्ड देन चूज थर्टी एटीन टू थर्टी इफ यू आर थर्टी वन प्लस देन थर्टी वन इफ यू आर थर्टी वन और मोर देन थर्टी वन देन चूज थर्टी वन और थर्टी वन टू फोर्टी फाइव these are the common mistakes right 0 to 18 so it should be 19 to 30 31 to 45 or 46 plus this is the right way to ask it should be mutually exclusive so that there should be no confusion suppose someone is 18 18 years and one month then uh, he could select 18 to 30 or uh, if someone is say from uh, uh, actually 19 uh, then uh, he, You will not get the correct type of a response. Zero to eighteen means zero to eighteen. If you are less than nineteen, then you fall in the category of zero to eighteen. If you are nineteen or more than nineteen, then you fall in the second category. It should be very clear. What did you think about the waiting time? Excellent, very good, good, average or poor? Option should be balanced, right? Excellent, very good, good, average or poor. It should not be like that. Either, either, either this is good. No, I don't feel like it is good. Neither very good, excellent, poor. I'll not say it is poor, but uh, there should be another option. It should be balanced. It should be uh, very good, good, average, poor, or very poor. Although uh, this is a balanced scale, but while uh, making the options, make it balanced. Excellent, good, and very good taps the good responses. But to tap a poor response or a bad response, there is one option that is poor. I feel like it is pathetic. It was pathetic. It was very poor. So it should be. Good, very good, average, poor, or very poor. What would you rate? Uh, how would you rate the the appointment booking services using website, phone, reception? Good, average, poor. Use opt out responses appropriately. what would you rate how i'm sorry how would you rate the appointment booking services using website i never used website to get the appointment how could i rate this not applicable right phone or the website that is website phone or the reception uh, over the phone yes i always Took the appointment over the phone. It is good. A reception, I could say poor, but I never use the website uh, for the appointment. Then how could I give the rating for the things which for the services which I have never utilized? So these are the common mistakes. Either I will say good, average, or poor. Then again, it will impact your results because I am giving a biased result. I am not giving you the true. I am not showing you the true picture, right? Demographics need to know how opinions and behavior varies in the different categories of a people, right? Just such as gender, age, income, education level, political belief, right? Put at the end of the instrument. If you want to get the some demographic uh, responses, right? Then put it at the end. And it should be easy to answer. Type of questionnaires. It should be self-completed, right? Self-completed. 
if it is self completed then you can either post those questionnaire or you can email those questionnaire so that one can send it back to you or another could be interview lead questions that is either you have to carry out the question if you want to carry out the uh, interviews or if there are the certain questions which you want to ask then uh, it could be carry out face to face through face to face interview or through telephonic interviews so depends what type of questionnaires you are utilizing self completed questionnaires there are pros and cons of each and everything self uh, completed questionnaire uh, it co costs less but the interview led questionnaires it cost more than the self completed but um, time can the time uh, in self complete uh, it takes more time the self completed questionnaires take more time rather than the interview led questionnaire and um, uh, there could be the chances that you will get less responses uh, in self completed a uh, questionnaire but you will the chances of getting more responses or apt responses in interview led question there are the chances that um, uh, one can one can give the biased answer or uh, uh, if uh, or the wrong answers but interview led question because um, interviewer is there and if there is any doubt then he can clarify that doubt to the respondent but in self completed as the searcher is not there to clarify the doubts self completed respondent complete on their own and it is designed for best designed for measuring variable with numerous value or response categories when you want to investigate attitude and opinion not usually observable suppose you want to observe the stress value or you want to um, observe the job satisfaction that is not usually observable or you want to uh, observe the or you want to tap the customer satisfaction level it is not usually observable describing the characteristics of a large population and studying a private or difficult behavior then one should use a self completed questionnaire if you want to study a private or difficult behavior right close ended item limit the research disadvantages of uh, the self completed is that uh, this Uh, this closed-ended uh, items limits the researcher. If researcher wants to know more about the things, uh, then it uh, limits the researcher. Adjust for differences in respondents. Clarify misunderstood items. Explain ambiguity. Means, if there is any ambiguity, if there is any doubt, researcher is not there. to clarify that ambiguity or doubts and just for difference in uh, respondents not suitable this uh, self completed <coughs> questionnaire is not suitable for all audience like for young children if you will give them the questionnaire you will, there are the chances that you will get you will not get the response or you will get wrong responses visually impaired learning or reading disabilities then you cannot give them the self completed questionnaire how to obtain a valid information ask purposeful questions important and required question ask concrete questions use time period based on importance of questions use conventional language use complete sentences and question should be short and crispy so it is very important why you are giving a self complete questionnaire ask only purposeful questions if you will ask many question people will lose interest and they will just fill up the questions or they will leave it that i am not interested in filling up the questionnaire 
ask concrete question so that it, it should be easily understandable what the uh, uh, researcher is asking use conventional language use complete sentences don't use shortcuts how to obtain a valid uh, information avoid abbreviation never use abbreviation if you want to write role ambiguity write role ambiguity rather than ra never use abbreviation avoid abbreviation because it creates confusion and no one is interested in going through your list of abbreviation and then will answer the question or they will avoid to answer those questions avoid to edge questions avoid semantics or to edge questions avoid negative questions if even if you want to type something like this frame your question in a positive way never ask negative questions avoid negative questions adopt or adapt questions used successfully in other questionnaires if other questionnaires are available they are verified and tested then you can use those questionnaires by taking the permission of the developer or if it is uh, available in the open market and there is no need to take the permission that you have to check so it is very important your question should be your question should be purposeful it should be concrete it should be, you should use conventional language use complete sentences shorter questions avoid abbreviations avoid to edge questions avoid negative questions adapt or adopt questions use successful in other questionnaires clear okay what's to avoid in questionnaire development words like all any anybody best ever never etc extreme absolute should be avoided they place the respondent in a situation where they must either fully agree or they must completely disagree with the extreme position in the question do you always observe a traffic sign no not always at times would you say all cats have four legs this is uh um, this puts a respondent in a situation they must either full agree or completely disagree um, yes cats have four legs but all cats yes obviously but because of certain accidents i have seen the cats or uh, do you always observe a traffic signs always do you observe traffic signs computer assisted and web based questions way to create and administrate the self administrated questionnaire is through mail marketing researcher find the response rate increasing this is not across the board questionnaire is specially short one can be sent via email or provide internet link to the site which hosts this survey so you can use a uh, computer with the advancement of the technology you can the computer assist you in getting the responses or uh, administrating the questionnaires you can administrate your questionnaire through emails either you can directly send the mail to the uh, respondent on their email id or you can uh, provide them a link on which by clicking on the link they can fill up this survey it may be uh, it may take a less time and the cost but access is a huge issue one should have access to these things interviews reading questionnaire items in face to face or telephone situation this is our interview could be unstructured or in depth 
this interview when interview is unstructured or in depth is basically uh, suited for exploratory research we described about the types of research exploratory research descriptive research exploratory research is when we have a little knowledge about the topic and we want to explore more about the topic that is exploratory research and we have find someone who is uh, who knows about the topic and we ask in depth question to know more about the topic either with one person or in a focus group so when you carry out unstructured or in depth uh, interviews you can carry out with one person or you can carry out with a group it could be open ended items it should be open ended items there so that you ask the questions and they can give you their opinions or the feedbacks then only you will get uh, in depth knowledge of the situation it cannot be standardized good for complex situation it is good for the complex situation when the situation is complex and one cannot one is not able to choose a concrete answer for this then this type of a uh, questions are good response rate tend to be the highest with face to face interview response rate is going to be the highest but for obvious when you are conducting a face to face interview but there are certain issues it takes more time because you have to uh, make up the things like uh, uh, the time the time for the, the time at which you want to take the interview should suit the should suit to the other person smaller sample sample size is small and cost is very high another type is telephonic question interview that is most popular it cost less because and less time and less subjective to the interview as compared to face to face although this is a subjective this could be subjective but less subjective to the interview as when we compared it with face to face interview it is structured in a telephonic uh, interviews we carry out a structured type of uh, uh, interviews where there are certain question which we would like to ask and we would like to uh, hear uh, about those questions only often conducted with computers can probe for information or clarification threshold about 20 minutes it should be 20 minutes constructions regardless of the survey type construct in a way allow for candid answers accurately consistently addresses goals hypothesis and research questions what type of a survey type you opt construct your questionnaire in a way that allows for a candid answers so that you will get the appropriate answers it should be accurate it should be consistent it should be valid reliable validity and reliability of your instrument is very important address goals hypothesis research questions your questionnaire your tool should addresses your goals it should addresses your hypothesis and research questions instruction beginning of each section should include clear instruction if there is any disclose needed information for the respondent to decide whether to complete the survey or not don't cheat anyone disclose the things why you are uh, collecting the information from the respondent how will you going to use that information this will help the respondent to think whether they want to answer those questions or not tell whether anonymous no names or ids or confidential right names or ids not attached the responses whether you, whether you want their personal details or not give an information about questionnaire time if there is any time be consistent with instructions and format avoid ambiguity confusion and vagueness there should be no ambiguity there should be no confusion and vagueness it should be crystal clear make sure it is absolutely clear clear what you are asking and how you want it answered 
if you want that up to that uh, respondent should choose only one option then it should be very clear that uh, you should uh, you should choose one option or if you want that respondent can choose more than the one option make it clear there should be no confusion no ambiguity avoid indefinite words or response categories there should be uh, uh, a definite response categories as as there was a question what uh, what type of a drink do you do you have in your uh, you had in the morning right there could be n number of infinite number of categories or uh, but one should avoid all these response categories avoid infinite categories indefinite categories avoid asking questions beyond the respondents capabilities people have people have limitations especially when it comes memory of past events so avoid asking um, these types of question it is pointless to ask people about the things that are not natural way for them to think at times we avoid to think about something or we don't remember the things don't ask don't ask the question beyond the respondents capabilities there are various online serving platform available like docs.google.com platform you can create a form there and carry out the research freeonlinesurveys.com you can carry out your research you, you can uh, make a questionnaire and then send it to the respondent tsavemonkey.com there are various online survey platforms are available which helps you to carry out your research rating scale what is rating scale uh we discussed about this case in our previous lectures today we will discuss something discuss about the rating scales right there are various rating scales like dichotomous scale category scale fixed or constant sum scale likert scale semantic differential scale uh, numerical scale and the staples scale all these are rating scales or rating scales means on the way on this we have to rate something we have to choose the options dichotomous scales the scale used to elicit a yes or no option when we have the two options and uh, when we have to choose one option that is the dichotomous scale or normally nominal scale is used like are you happy with your job yes or no or uh, gender when we ask about the gender male or female next is category scale what is category scale category scale uses multiple items to elicit a single response that's all for today thank you very much namaskar